and welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we have several tool ideas that might be useful to you in building your aircraft. Let's take a look and see if even one of them proves useful for your shop. Here's a tool you're probably already familiar with. This is a portable bandsaw. This one in particular is a Milwaukee brand portaband. It provides very powerful metal cutting capability and it allows you to take it to the job or to the piece that you want to cut and you can cut at any angle. It is variable speed. The blades are replaceable and come in various teeth per inch. Wouldn't it be nice if we could convert this to a table saw? Your wishes have come true. There is a company that produces a sturdy small table that converts this popular portable saw into a useful table bandsaw. The company is Swag and here is their website. There is even an optional miter fence available for making angle and nice straight cuts. What I like is how easy it is to change from portable to table mount and back. And you can see there is just one bolt that has to be removed and installed. The reliability and durability of the contractor grade portable bandsaws like this Milwaukee means that they will likewise perform well in this table position. Also, the blades are easy to find and not expensive. The manufacturer of the table lists the other brands and models of portable bandsaws that will fit their table, so you do not have to use the Milwaukee brand saw. If you're building an aircraft, there's a good chance you're going to have to learn how to grease your wheel bearings. This is a messy job but it is an important one because there is a technique needed to make sure that grease gets all the way through the cage and onto those bearings. Good luck with that. It can be done by hand. Well here's the tool to make things a lot easier. This is our handy packer bearing packer. Plastic made of four pieces. See the O-ring here. Pull that out. Plastic bin. And then this comes apart. And notice the grease zerk fitting at the top. Basically, this allows you to put your grease gun on the top. and then fill the cavity with grease and once that's filled put our handle on there we press down let's take a look at one of these in action now the bearing packer has been pre-filled with grease at the bottom and the bottom half of the plunger is in place. We install our bearing and then put the top half of the plunger on top of the bearing and now we push. And we're not really pushing on the bearing, we're pushing on the two-piece plunger which is forcing grease up through the little holes. We press for about 15-20 seconds. We can always go back and press some more if we need to. But the goal is to force the grease through the bearing cage from the bottom to the top. Notice the black ring is the top. And sure enough, the grease went all the way from one side of the bearing to the other. This is now properly packed and it was so easy to do. This tool is available at many fine auto parts stores. Next we have our metal shear. This one is pneumatic powered, air powered, and if you're cutting lots of metal, you can't be without one of these. If you notice the blades, 
This actually is making two cuts as the metal feeds through. We'll see an example of that in a moment. I personally recommend an electric version of this, which gives you a little more control because of the variable speed as opposed to trying to regulate the air this way. Let's take a look at one in action. Shearing metal always causes one edge to curl. With this tool, because it's making two cuts at the same time, the curling has been shared by this center piece, which gets thrown away. So you do lose a little bit cutting this way. Your cuts are as straight as the operator's ability to follow a straight line. So it's not foolproof, but it sure saves the hand from a lot of repetitive squeezing if this were done the old fashioned way with a hand shear. Now here's a tool probably on the optional list. It is a set of Clico pliers at a 90 degree angle and is spring loaded. They become a little more useful if you're doing a lot of Clicoing in a vertical position as we're showing here. Then the grip seems a little more natural than the other way. It is called a Clicol upright Clico pliers and it's available at most tool supply houses for about 20 bucks. You really can't have too many good tools, especially if they help you in your building process. So the best thing to do with one of these tools is to take it and use it to get back to building.